Welcome to A Moment of Faith. I'm Pastor Tim. Again today I want to talk to you about spiritual growth. 2 Peter chapter number 3 tells us, But grow in grace in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Last time we talked about the principle of purpose and the principle of persistence. Today I want to talk to you about the principle of partnering. Spiritual growth requires that we partner with other people in order to grow as we should. Sometimes we can think that uh, we don't need other people or that we're fine by ourselves, but really the truth of the matter is that we need one another in order to grow as we should in the Lord. You won't grow very well by yourself. The truth of the matter is that we need other people in order to grow as we should. We need people to mentor us, people to set an example before us of, of the way in which we ought to live this Christian life. Paul, the apostle, said, follow me as I follow Christ. He was setting the example that, that we were partnering together to grow as we should in Christ. Another principle I want to talk to you about is the principle of pruning. Pruning isn't something that we like or that is pleasant, but if we are going to bear fruit as we should, if we're going to uh, follow after God and grow spiritually, we have to allow the Spirit of God to prune our lives. If we are going to grow up, we have to give up. Or in other words, we, there are some things that, that have to be pruned in our lives so that we can grow as God would have us to grow. The reality is that the spiritual man and the carnal man cannot grow at the same time. If the spiritual man is going to grow, it's going to be because the carnal man was, was pruned or was, was crucified as Paul talks about it. If we are going to grow spiritually, it's because we allow the Spirit of God to prune some things in our lives. And today I just want to encourage you as you are seeking to grow in your relationship with God to partner with other believers, to seek out those who are spiritually mature, to partner with them so that you can grow and follow the example that they have set before you. And I want to encourage you today to allow the Spirit of God to prune some things in your life, to, to cut away some of the things that, that need to be cut away so that you can grow deeper in your walk with the Lord. 